Meghan and Harry have successfully carved out a new, financially independent life for themselves away from the royal family over the last year. In an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk, tax and immigration adviser David Lesperance explained that this is likely to all make the couple staggeringly wealthy just 12 months after leaving the firm. Looking first at the couple's revenue, he said, would they have had any of the deals had they remained as junior royals? Probably not. He noted that the royal family rarely engages in commercial enterprises. He continued, a lot of the revenue that is generated from the Crown Estate, Windsor Castle, Buckingham Tours, are part of the Crown Estate, not necessarily an asset of a junior royal. So certainly on the revenue side, they're significantly higher in what they've got from these commercial third parties, as opposed to what they would have got from a grant, or even gifts from Charles. Their expenses have increased, the major expense probably being security. That was something that was taken care of before, not by them, they are bearing the bulk of that. But they are also not going out to restaurants, doing tours, any handshaking or royal duties, so it's probably a lot easier and cheaper in their current situation than if they were fulfilling their public duties. Mr. Lesperance then compared the couple's new wealth to Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William's royal finances. He confirmed that he would expect the Sussexes to now be wealthier than the Cambridges, by a stretch of multi-millions. The tax advisor explained, Kate and William, for example, what revenues do they have? We don't actually know what the Queen gives to him beyond what is in the parliamentary stated payments. We do know there are certain things such as security which do not tap into the net worth of Kate and William but they also don't have third parties such as Netflix and Spotify. Quote. 